back to educator.com. We're in the calculus one sequence and we're looking at Newton's method. And I have two additional examples for us to go through. As we get started, for reference, I wanna put the Newton's method set up here on the screen for us and then we'll look at this example. So we have that the next x value equals the current x value minus f evaluated at the current x value divided by f prime evaluated at the current x value. The next thing I want to do here is to draw a picture to help us look at this function on the left here. This is our function f of x. f of x equals x minus e to the opposite of x. And we wish to find um, zeros for this function. But to help us look at what sort of x value we expect to get, I'm going to actually draw a plot of x and a plot of e to the opposite of x. And the zeros we're looking for can also be thought of as solutions of x equals the opposite of x, just by bringing, or excuse me, x equals e to the opposite of x, just by bringing e to the opposite of x over to the right hand side in our equation. And y equals x is something that's easy to draw. And y equals e to the opposite of x is also easy to draw. And so visually, we're looking for this value here. This is our goal. OK, so let's get started with Newton's method. We need an initial guess. And I'm going to just use x equals 1 as my initial guess. And so I'll call that x naught equals 1. And so let's do our generic setup and then look at the details here. xn plus 1 is xn minus f of xn, where f of xn is xn minus e to the opposite of xn. And then divided by f prime of xn, the derivative of x minus e to the opposite of x is 1 plus e to the opposite of x. And it's evaluated at xn. And so we're faced with evaluating these things. We can do a little bit of algebra here to simplify things a bit, and I think it's probably worth doing. So if we were to get a common denominator, we would multiply this first term by 1 plus e to the opposite of xn divided by 1 plus e to the opposite of xn. And so that will be our overall denominator. We'll have an xn times 1 plus an xn times e to the opposite of xn minus xn plus e to the opposite of xn all over the denominator where realize that I distributed this minus sign. Okay, now a couple of things drop out. These drop out and we are left with xn e to the opposite of xn plus e to the opposite of xn over 1 plus e to the opposite of xn. Now this is still no fun to evaluate on a handheld calculator, but it's a little simpler probably than in the earlier version of it. So we started with x0 equals 1, and let's carry out an iteration and then talk about what happens after that. So x1 equals the following fraction, 1 times e to the negative 1 plus e to the negative 1 over 1 plus e to the negative 1. So we're getting 2 e to the negative first power over 1 plus e to the negative first power. And at this time, at this point, we have to evaluate this thing. So we have negative 1 e to the negative 1, negative 1 on the exponent of e, times 2, divided by the quantity 1 plus e to the negative 1. And I'm getting 0.5379 or so. Now, we could carry out additional iterations of Newton's method. And if we were to do that, we would see that our x values converge to approximately 0.567143, et 
etc. And again, I would recommend that you have a piece of paper out and try this, um, compute x2, maybe x3, and convince yourself that, yeah, you're getting results that are converging towards that number.